Welcome back to Good Morning Vale. It's Beaver Creek's opening day. It's a celebratory weekend. We have Thanksgiving tomorrow. A lot of people in town to celebrate on the slopes. And joining me now, we have Stefan Work. He is with Beaver Liquors. And the thing is, when you get off the slopes, you got Thanksgiving tomorrow, yep. you're going to need to celebrate with, oh, maybe some bubbly, maybe some beers. A little champagne, you know, yeah. some celebration. We got a great wine selection. We got over 1,500 wines in our wine cellar. Well, and that's what I've heard. And yeah. you guys have the naturally cool wine cellar. We do, we do indeed. So if you go down there, you know it's nice and cool. You can hang out. It's very peaceful down there. Great selection. Everything there is organized in regions. So it's very easy to find. You might see me in the corner kind of lurking around, <laughs> but I'm very helpful for the most part. And you know, that's the thing. Wine can be intimidating. You yeah. might think, oh, I don't know enough about it, so I'm not even going to try. But sure. That's the thing. That's where you come into play because sure. everyone has their individual palate. It's just mm -hmm. like equipment. It you is. You know, just talk shop and you can learn a lot. Yeah, you know, everyone has their own flavor and you come down and we try to pair you with something you had last time. You know, there's, uh, there's a lot of variety, but we do have, you know, a lots of uh, selection. We do your own pick, pick six, six pack. Okay. Um, which is very cool, you know, all microbrews from Colorado. You can kind of mix and match, which is a fun idea no one else does in the Valley. Um, we are open tomorrow for okay. Thanksgiving from 9 to 7, which is killer. Um, you know, just come on by. I think that we have a selection that's just going to pair with turkey. You know, we'll do a wine of the month, a beer of the month. Um, lots of people to help you out. Yeah, I think there's going to be a lot of people that aren't doing the cooking, but they right. were asked to bring some of the yep. beverages. That's so, right. yeah, and you want to make sure that you're asking your host what they're making. Maybe they're not going turkey, maybe they're That's going right. duck or they're sure. doing a ham. So, you want to make sure that the beverage yeah. matches the meal. Absolutely. I think, uh, you know, pairing it specifically with dinner is uh, easy, but you can sit out and try anything. You know, I'm a big beer guy, but, you know, it's, this is time for the champagne, it's a celebration, as long as you're around family. The three yeah. things, if you're with good people, you know, good food, or uh, just a good celebration, yeah. I think is definitely important. And also this weekend, a lot of football games. Lots of games. We do have a flat screen in the store, so we do catch ourselves <laughs> okay. watching a lot of games. But, you know, I think it's a, a good environment for people to just kind of, we've been around since 1977. So we have a name, you know, Beaver Liquors. Yeah. Uh, lots of people come out from Denver, all over here, at international actually, that uh, come by just for the name, which uh, I'll let you think about that for a okay. second. Okay, right? and you know what, real competitive pricing too. Sure, yeah, we match every, uh, every price in the Valley. So come on by. Um, it's just a great experience. There. You know, and Colorado is so known for their microbrews, That's and correct. there's a lot of them. It's almost as overwhelming as the wine. Yeah. So yeah. you got to, uh, I'm sure you have a lot of questions about that too. Yeah. Um, you know, we carry all stuff from Fort Collins and Denver, and uh, we're always trying to get something new in there, which is fun. But I think, uh, you know, the main thing is just come on by, tell us what you like. We try to pair you. All of our guys are, you know, 20s, 30s. They're all just beer yeah. drinkers and wine drinkers, and we can certainly help you out. Yeah, definitely. So. Okay, now, so for tomorrow, sure. what would you start out? Let's walk us through our, okay. our, our, our meal. What would you start us out with? Oh, wow. Uh, you know, I haven't even decided what I'm doing for Thanksgiving yet. So mm -hmm. uh, I don't know. I think uh, for me, in terms of what, what to have for Thanksgiving, Yeah. Uh, I don't know, some sort of appetizers, you know. You pair that with a little champagne, then? I would say start off with bubbly is always okay. the first thing. You know, a Prosecco, actually. Most people don't know what a Prosecco is. It's a sparkling white wine from Italy. Oh, wow, um, yeah. You know, it has that Christmas uh, great flavor that champagne has, just not $75. <laughs> okay, good. Um, Very affordable. But, yeah, start off with a little bubbly, then transition to maybe some white wine with a nice salad, and then kind of go hearty with some nice reds. Okay. I'm a big French burgundy guy, just like my boss, David Courtney. All right. So taken after that and uh, I like big red wines to go with some savory you know turkey and stuffing and all that good stuff so okay and if you didn't yeah. make the apple pie pumpkin pie <laughs> there's always dessert wine Absolutely. so check out beaver liquors they mm -hmm. will be open Thanksgiving day mm -hmm. 9 to 7 and we want to thank you guys so much for Great. sponsoring our live production Absolutely. here thank you for the time Trisha I appreciate it okay the opening day is going to be phenomenal so everyone get out there make some turns and be safe okay beaver liquors right. you're going to find them in Avon we'll be right back Thank <laughs> you.